Hi guys, I'm Kristen and I'm out here at Oso Flaco Lake, which is part of the California State Park System. And today I am out here looking for unique bird sightings and I've just come across a really unique bird. And this bird is an endangered species called the California least tern. Would you guys like to get a closer look at this bird? Well, today I've brought with me a set of binoculars and we're gonna use these to get a closer look. Through the lenses of these binoculars, we can see an up close view of the California least tern. Although, how can we tell for sure this bird is in fact a California least tern? This bird has a few unique characteristics and markings to help us identify it. Let's take a few seconds and see if you can spot some of their unique characteristics. What characteristics did you spot? Did you notice the black cap on top of their head? Or maybe you saw their yellow bill or spotted their gray wings with a black outer edge. All of these unique markings help us to determine that this bird is truly a California least tern. Before we learn more about the California least tern, let's get a 360 view from where we have spotted this bird here at Oso Flaco Lake. California least terns are an endangered species who nest on the coast of California. They are seasonal birds who spend their time along the California coast from April to September for the breeding and nesting seasons. The nesting habitat locations of these birds span from San Francisco to Baja, California. During the winter months, they will leave California for locations in Central and South America. California least terns prefer nesting habitats located along the beach, in open spaces, and away from vegetation. Nests are constructed with ocean debris such as pebbles and shells and typically hold two eggs. California least terns build nests in colonies with other California least terns. A typical colony is about 25 pairs of California least terns. Both male and female California least terns will protect the nest during the incubation period, which typically lasts 20 to 25 days. Why are California least terns considered endangered? Well, in the 1970s, the California least tern population was incredibly low, and there was concern if the population of the species declined further, they could become extinct. Habitat loss is one of the main reasons to their population decline. Many homes, businesses, and roadways have been built along the coast of California for many years, and have been built in areas where California least terns prefer to nest. Also, humans who visit the beach enjoy recreating in the same places California least terns nest which can cause damage to the nest and the nesting habitat area. Therefore, in 1970, the California least tern was listed on the Federal Endangered List and listed on the California Endangered List in 1971. Through the efforts of many, the California least tern populations are becoming healthier and hopefully will continue to grow for future generations. And remember, we can do our part when we visit the beach by keeping pets on leash, picking up our trash, and following posted signs. And this is Kristen. Until next time, we'll see you on another adventure.